my dears and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisbeth, I'm a published author here in America and today I'm going to be sharing 12 more super useful artist life hacks that I am telling you guys, girl, if you knew these life hacks, it'll make your life as an artist so much easier. Today I'll be sharing all types of hacks having to do with painting, how to care for your paintbrushes, markers, and so much more. So stick around to the very very end guys because I assure you, you will come out of this video with a bunch of new knowledge and a bunch of new artist life hacks that you will love. So if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video by me. And please give this video a big thumbs up because it really, really encourages me and it allows other people to be recommended this video so that more people can find these life hacks and hopefully this video will also help more people. So do not forget to give it a big thumbs up, guys. So without further ado, Let's get started. Hack number one is a marker hack. Want your markers to streak less and blend more evenly? Girl, I got you! <laughs> Remember that wet mediums like markers and paints blend better when they're wet. So if you apply marker to your paper and then you let it dry before you add another color on top of it, it's gonna streak a lot. So remember, if you want your colors to blend seamlessly together, First, apply your colors onto your paper and while it's still wet, then apply color on top of it. If you wait for the color on your paper to dry before applying another color on it, it's going to streak because you're applying wet onto dry. You want to apply wet onto wet so that it can blend seamlessly. For more super useful hacks on coloring with markers, please check out these two videos, guys. They'll be down there in the description box below. You'll learn how to erase marker and how to choose the best colors to blend seamlessly together, girl. You're gonna wanna watch those videos, guys. The next few hacks are especially useful for painters. Hack number two, want your paint brushes to last longer and strengthen their bristles? If you're using brushes with real hair, AKA sable brushes, after using them, clean them thoroughly, apply hair conditioner to them. Yes, you heard me girl, hair conditioner. And leave the conditioner on overnight. Then rinse the conditioner off thoroughly in the morning. This will moisturize and strengthen the bristles, prevent breakage, and make them last for years. The proof? These brushes that I'm holding here are from the 70s and were passed down to me. And because of this hack that I'm sharing with you right now, They've been going strong, girl. <laughs> you don't want to use hair conditioner? That's all right, girl. You can always use this. My favorite moisturizing paintbrush cleanser is called the Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. Absolutely recommend it. You can use it for oil paint, acrylics. Use it for all kinds of paint, boo-boo. I'll have a link to this product down there in the description box below. Not sponsored, but still freaking love this product. Hack number three. Are your paintbrushes stained or have old, dry, crusty old paint on them? And are there bits of paint at the base of the bristles that never disappear no matter how much you clean the darn brush? Girl, I got you! Use my favorite brush cleaner. Once again, recommending this because it, it'll save your brushes all the time. All you gotta do is add some warm water to your brush, swish it around a little in the cleanser, and your brushes will be super clean and conditioned. It can be used with sable brushes, synthetic bristles. Girl, you could use it for everything. Hack number four. Is your water-based paint thick as and beginning to dry up? Replenish some of your acrylic paints by adding a couple of drops of water into the tube, close it up tight, and stand it cap up overnight. And in the morning, Check the consistency and stir it around with a strong stick or toothpick to even out the consistency. And if the consistency isn't what you want, you can add another drop or so into the paint. And if you're using oil-based paints, you can always drop a drop or two of linseed oil into your paints and let it sit overnight following all these same steps. Hack number five. Is your watercolor painting curling? Child, I got you! Try laying it face down on a clean surface and add some textbooks on top of it overnight. It may not completely fix the problem, but it can minimize curling. If the curling is really bad, you may need to leave it this way for a few days for full results. But to prevent curling to begin with, please check out my hack for this issue in this video. 
link in description box below. My next hack is for sketchbook safety girl. Hack number six. I love traveling with my sketchbook, but girl, my water spilled in my backpack once while my sketchbook was in my bag. Oh, never again. Now I always place my sketchbook in a giant Ziploc bag. <laughs> you could use a plastic grocery bag, anything plastic really, as long as it is meant to keep out dirt and moisture. Organization hack girl. Hack number seven. Got lots of art supplies, but nowhere to put them? Use a hanging shoe rack to organize supplies. I got mine for a dollar on Amazon. Hack number eight. Sick of wasting time looking for a specific color? Use jars to separate and organize markers, colored pencils, and paints. I even keep all my fave skin tones in a separate jar. It's so freaking convenient. You can even use Ziploc bags if jars aren't your thing. Hack number nine. Tired of always having to get up to get some water for your paint when you want to add a highlight to your drawing? I got you! Keep a bottle of water by you while you work. The cap even doubles as a small palette for your paint. And when you're done, Swish your brush in the water bottle to clean it and close it up for next time. I've been using this hack for years and if you're someone like myself who works with markers, you might love adding white ink detail to your paint just for highlighting the eyes or in the lips or whatever. So this is a perfect technique because when I get really into my drawing, I don't want to get up to get water. I want the water to already be there, okay? So maybe this is like a hack for weirdos like me, but maybe you can find this useful too. Also, keep in mind if you're using like greens and blues and yellows and reds and all that good stuff, you do not want to swish your dirty paintbrush into this bottle of water. This is standby water. When you need water to work, it's not to be used to clean your brushes unless you're only using it for like white paint or just a black paint, you know what I mean? So keep the water clean. It's just there as like standby water. I hope that made sense. Keep it clean. <laughs> Hack number 10. Need to erase something really small, but your eraser is far too big for the job. Not to worry, boo-boo. You can cut a little piece off of your eraser to get into little areas of your drawing. You can also use a kneaded eraser. This hack is also perfect for adding highlights to pencil drawing, girl. Yes, I love this. Hack number 11. Need somewhere to put your paint on, but you don't have an artist palette? Boo boo, I got you! I've got a few cheap options for you. You can use wax paper, a styrofoam plate, or my favorite, $1 sauce dishes from the Asian market. <laughs> I love using this particular type of sauce dish especially. I use one side for water, which I get from my ink water that's sitting on my desk. And the other side, I put my paint. And last but not least, hack number 12. Do your quill pens and dipping pens keep clogging on you? The problem may be the ink itself, girl. So here's what's going on, right? <laughs> India ink is all natural. So sometimes it spoils and you gotta throw it out. Gotta take a little sniffy. And if it smells a little bit like egg, time to toss it, girl. But other times it's just getting a little old and the actual pigment and sediments and all that good stuff that makes up the ink they're kind of floating around, they're getting stuck in your quills, and they're clogging up your pens. So, how do we solve this problem? You take your little inkwell, and you carefully and slowly pour it into a plastic disposable cup or a shot glass, and take your empty little jar and rinse out that thing. You'll be surprised to learn that the actual color of the bottle itself isn't black, it's actually clear. So keep cleaning it out until it's completely clear. And once it's completely cleaned out, all the gunk that was stuck on the bottom of the jar will wash away. And now you can take your good ink that you have in your shot glass or your disposable plastic cup and pour it back into the jug and you will see that the ink is actually going to flow a lot better. If it's still not flowing as good as you want, you can add two to five drops of water. Drop of water, okay? And mix it up, shake it up real good with the, with the cap on, of course. <laughs> and you'll see it'll work Mwah! magnifique. So that's all the hacks I have for you today, guys. Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the video, as well as any video requests you may have for me. Also, I wanna know, are you gonna be using any of these hacks? Which ones were your favorite? Please let me know if these were answers you've been praying for, okay, guys? 
Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And until next Thursday, guys, please take care, God bless, and do not be afraid to nerd out. Take care, guys!